a small I'll be showing up some some small development uh, made completely by me it's fully handmade and uh, one of my client came and told me that uh, they are doing this uh, silk screen uh, printing and they are doing especially on the ribbons ribbons uh, this sort of ribbons and you might have seen in the schools and colleges and offices people wear this sort of ribbon the company name has been uh, what do you call it, imprinted over here printed over here and they put some tag or something or maybe office uh, some logo and uh, maybe a badge or something hmm? so this my this particular device what i am showing you it's working on the principle of silk screen so this is the thing these are the write-ups which will ultimately come out to this ribbons. So this is a silk screen, uh, what do you call, uh, what do you call the frame. And this is the printer what I have made. This is the printer what I have made. This is the complete printer. You can see, if you see over here, this is nothing but the uh, ribbons, the rolls of the ribbons. So from here, the ribbon starts out. There is something called as ribbon guide which will guide the ribbon uh, straight to the uh, printing areas these are uh, again the guides which will uh, see the uh, what do you call whether it has to be shifted left or right or whatever it is this is the pressure roller the pressure roller so that the things go the ribbon goes absolutely straight once it's once it has been pulled out and if you see this is a frame over here this is nothing but a frame which holds this silk screen. Something like this, I'll show you. Uh, you can see there are two holes in this. And you can also see there are two holes in this. We just screw it out and it gets fixed up, something like this. And uh, anyhow, this uh, silk screen, you can see, it is not touching the ribbons right now. Once we squeeze it with the squeezer, they touch the ribbon, otherwise they don't touch it. So I have lifted up a bit with some bits over here so that it doesn't touch us because it has to be done up this way. <coughs> the ink has to be taken and then again the squeezing has to be done. Once the squeezing is done and the impression of this uh, write-up is, is there in the ribbon, there is a paddle in the foot. This is the paddle in the foot. Once we press the paddle, <coughs> my machine goes uh, takes up ribbon maybe 30 uh, they have given me three provisions for 36 inches 34 inches and uh, 32 inches for the children's of the schools and all 32 inches and for adults it's uh, 36 inches so the ribbon 36 inches it moves out you can see it comes down it comes down to this roller from this roller it comes out over here this is a heater over here normal simple heater over here and from the heater it goes to the second guide why i have made to flow up so long the thing is i want the ink which has been imprinted on the uh, printer uh, that must be dried out so to make it dry i'm using a heater over here this entire thing has been closed and packed so a heat is already there inside so it dries up very fast and then the ribbon is taken up by the pressure rollers and it comes down at the bottom. Now this is my, what do you call, the mechanism what I've used to pull the ribbons. There are two pressure rollers and it pulls the ribbon. Now I'll just try to show you the working principle of it. Something like this. Uh, I have one switch for uh, the, what do you call, the heater. This plug is for the heater. And this is for my main, uh, as soon as I switch it on, you can see first one light blinks out. And this is the initializing process going on. It's a fully microcontroller based. The initializing is going on. And now, uh, so again, I'll put it off and show it to you again. I'll switch it on. The red light is nothing but the power. This is nothing but the blinking which shows my the initializing is on. Once the initializing is over, the blue light will stop. And if I press the paddle, if I press the paddle, see the ribbon is going out. You can see the ribbon is going out. 
again I press the paddle you can see over here also to show you clearly that the river is movement uh, in the momentum I can keep my glasses over here and I press the paddle see the thing is uh, moving up and uh, depending upon the length set maybe 32 inches right now it has been set to 32 inches so 32 inches of uh, thing uh, passes by and you can also see there's a counter over here which is nothing but two uh, which you know which shows that to say like uh, two number of uh, two sets are over so that is six ribbons printing are over so at a time we can print three so three into two is nothing but six so you can also get a count over there and you can reset the count and all uh, so like there's a reset button you can reset the count and once we want to set the ribbon in the roller so I can sh I have to show it once again I'll just switch it on again the initializing will take place now I made this switch up this is nothing but to feed the this uh, to feed the ribbons once the initializing is over so now you can guide the ribbon through the rollers and take the ribbon to the ribbon uh, what do you call uh, what do you call puller and now if I press the paddle only an inch of uh, thing will be pulled out again I press it inch of ribbon will be pressed out inch of ribbon will be pressed out so this way you can feed the ribbons into the pinch roller and once it is off you can just come down and now you press it out and from here the count starts at now it is one so this is the entire mechanism of it so this is what I have developed it took me around uh, maybe uh, a month of time where each and every say like this are the steel rods and the steel rods I have made some brass pieces uh, made it into some uh, grooves and all the groove cutting and all and so whatever I have seen uh, whatever the manual process I have seen I have tried to optimize it out and their requirement also, also was the same that they wanted to decrease the labor works because we know in India say like labor is getting a bit of problem uh, these days so automization is uh, right into the top peak uh, so dear friends uh, this way any requirement if you have you have any dreams maybe in your kitchen maybe in your bathroom maybe in your factory maybe in your industry uh, wherever you have any requirement you can contact me and uh, I can convert your dreams, whether it is a mechanical, whether it is a electronics or electromechanical, uh, whatever the things are, I can develop it for you. So my card says, you dream, I make it. So thank you guys. So if you have any requirement, just let me know so that uh, I can do some work for you. I can earn for myself and my family. Thank you.